What is up, YouTube? It's your boy Jimmy here. I'm just gonna show you guys a quick little haul video that I got in the mail. So, and my busy day, busy day at work. So tired. But yeah, man, so let's get this started. So, the first one that came with my haul, or one of the place first, was another Crimson Guard. Try something. Yeah. Yeah, man. Pretty cool. Oh yeah, modify this one. So you can have a shield in its back because I don't think it it does that. I don't think I don't know. But it looks awesome that way. Pretty cool, and then um, a little quick, cool um, gimmick. In one second, a quick second, mate. Oh, oh happy St. Patrick's Day, by the way. So So this 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 figure can actually carry every single part that he comes with, which is pretty badass. And this is from the retaliation line. Yeah, man, so I modified it. If you have any questions on how I did that, I'll make a video if anybody comments on how I did that, how I got the thing back there. But yeah, but it looks pretty cool. Looks elite, looks like it's better. Ready to kill some Joes. In a second, I got this Dark Ninja. Yeah, sorry, I'm using this box right here because it's kind of level. It's kind of leveled. Man, this figure's pretty badass, man. So, this one I picked up at my local comic shop, and this was the last one that they had, so you know I had to get one. <laughs> my neighbor's looking at me. It's awkward. Makes me want to talk to him every day. Man, so this figure's pretty badass. Very poseable. I thought I was going to have that, that pivot right here on his ankle, but it doesn't. It sucks. So, what I might do this figure is I color the blades silver since they're very sculpted. They're very nicely sculpted, these blades. They're very nice sculpt nicely sculpted. See that? They're very nicely sculpted, so it's just a little new paint. It'll look badass. Okay, here we go. Yeah, man. Oh, man. Don't you just hate it when things fall apart? I don't like when things fall apart. Okay, cool. So, next figure is a Marvel Universe 3 3 quarter inch Baron Zemo. This figure is not all that, but, but I like it. I mean, it's cool. I mean, I don't have them, and I wish. It was the same exact one as the the new um Baron Zemo from the is it is it um which the which or not Marvel Legends Infinite series that Baron Zemo looks badass because it has a holster and the thing for his knife and everything that would've been cool I actually got I'm gonna try to get that figure because I I liked it but yeah man it's pretty cool man articulation wise I say it's good. I mean, it's got the 360 elbow, shoulders, wrists. Got the little pivot thing in the wrist. It's got the. Mm, it's 
got the pivot B double jointed at the knee. It's got the little swivel right there at the thigh. Ab crunch. 360 at the waist. 360 at the head. Looks up pretty good. Looks down pretty good. The knife's okay. It just doesn't hold it. So I had to put a elastic band on it. The one that came with the figure. One of these figures. So, on to the next. I picked up this, um, the hell is this guy? Whiplash, there we go. From the Iron Man 2 movie 9. Yeah, it's, this guy's pretty good, man. The face scope isn't that good. You can tell it looks like a cartoon face, like an anime cartoon face or something. But you know what? It looks great, man. The detail is very nice. The pose. Posing this figure is kind of tricky, it's kind of hard. You know, you gotta lift up this to make, yeah. And then you get the thing. These are kind of bendable because these were all like zigzagged, and I kind of made it like that. This one went back into place, but I and mean, this figure is pretty bad. It's got like, uh, like part of the suit, I guess, is like a metal part right there. But this, this, this waist. Down will be perfect for a star killer. I, th in my opinion, I think that it would be a fucking awesome custom. That would be pretty cool, like a like a beggar, like a like a beggar disguise. You know what I mean? But yeah, this figure is pretty badass. I like it. Man. I like it better than the than the comic version because it's it's more has more detail, has more life to it. You know what I mean? So yeah, man. Got. This new stand came in handy. But yeah, man. So, we've got that. And next, we've got a little something in the mail, too. Actually, not in the mail. This one, I picked up the toys. But these are just little accessories. Let's put this thing down. So, I picked up a Joy Factory. I didn't want Joy, but. So, let's look at it inside the box. So, it came in the box. There is a. Sand Trooper. Pretty cool. Awesome. There is a Sunfuck. Sunfuck. There also this is six pack. The drill battle droid. Whatever. It looks pretty cool though. Very very detailed. Which is about the best droid I've ever seen. And it comes with this 212 Battalion Crow Trooper. Oh, the helmet comes off. Oh, nice. I gotta get some more of these. Alright, this one comes. Oh. Let's see what I'm trying to get this guy. And it came with. Oh, cool. I forgot about this guy. First appearance Black Squadron. Type pilot. I gotta get one of those those plain things, man. That's pretty awesome. And it last is that guy right there. I don't wanna show you guys. I honestly don't like him. It's whatever. Um Yeah man, just I look I seen this on Amazon on eBay for really expensive, like fifty bucks or something. I forgot how much it was. And I got it for twenty bucks and Toys R Us, man. Pretty badass deal if you ask me. Yeah, man. Put this inside. Put this inside. That's a, that, yeah, man. That's a good ass deal. I mean, for figures like that. Especially the clone troopers. I mean, the storm troopers. The clone. Yeah, the clones. That's pretty cool. There's a lot of Star Wars stuff I got. I want to get. I want to pick up two packs and everything. Span the universe. Everything's so dang expensive, man. But yeah, man. But. I 
like how that Crimson Guard looks right now. It's that Duke. That Rascal X right there. And the Mighty Thor. Yeah, man, you guys know what to do. Comment, like, subscribe. If you guys have a question about how I got that shoe in the back, I think it looks awesome. I'll make a video about it just to so you guys to see it and, you know, get it get it the first time, you know. You, know, you guys not to misunderstand me. But yeah, man, so I will leave you guys with that. My peace.